yes, the duration of sleep and how it relates to breathing patterns. Yeah, that's a very uh, important question because many years ago, um, when I like I started, my, I think maybe my example can be very interesting in this respect as well because it was quite typical. And uh, when I started Buteyko method uh, 15 years ago in 2001. Uh, my results for the body oxygen test was like totally miserable, about 8-10 seconds only. And my sleep was horrible, I remember I would sleep like 10-11 hours every night. <laughs> and the quality of sleep was very poor, I would, would wake up like at night maybe 2-3 times, having like almost nightmares. And, but uh, what was hard, was hard to fall asleep again. Maybe it would take like 20-30 or more minutes during the night to, to fall asleep, of course. The, so duration of sleep was huge, 10-11 hours and body oxygen result was low. And I found later that actually many of my students, they can have similar pattern, that when we start, we have heavy breathing, low body oxygen results, and long sleep of poor quality. But once we start improving the body oxygen test results, the sleep starts to shorten. And this is what I call a sleep table. I call it sleep table because uh, after seeing many, many of my own students who improve the health dramatically, of course, had a big, big shift, uh, and also reduced the sleep dramatically. I found that there is a correlation, approximate correlation, which can, uh, which can connect our breathing parameters with duration and quality of sleep. So the table kind of can be again like I, I can go maybe from the uh, uh, poor health state, the poorest health state, to more and more healthy health states. So when people have poor health, as I mentioned, 10 seconds for the body oxygen test, very heavy breathing, like breathing maybe three, four times the norm, and sleep for most people would be longer, and sleep would be of poor quality. Now when we get our breath holding time down uh, in the morning up to 20 seconds, so we slow down our breathing, our breathing also of course during sleep becomes slighter and slower, we start to breathe lighter and slower, our sleep starts to shorten, often down to seven, seven and a half hours, seven and a half hours that's average now for the modern population, that is the take western population, so average number is about seven and a half hours. Now, when students progress even further, they get up to 30 seconds for the body oxygen test, so we breathe even slower and lighter, we breathe calmer, having even fewer breaths, like maybe 12, 14 breaths a minute. Then the sleep gets even shorter, down to six, six and a half hours, which I found very, very common. Actually, all my students who get CP uh, breath holding time, body oxygen up to 30 seconds or high, they sleep no longer than six and a half hours, which is already great because that allows people more time to practice for physical and breathing exercises. Now, what happens next is that Many of my best students and practitioners whom I train get even higher results for the body oxygen test, like even better than the medical norm, up to 50-60 seconds. And 60 seconds, according to Dr. Boteka, is the golden standard of health when people have like ideal health and no chronic diseases are possible. I found that at this level, 50-60 seconds, uh, my students would not sleep longer than uh, four, four and a half hours maximum. Sleep like shortens dramatically, but that also allows people, they would have more energy. We don't uh, want to sleep longer. This is another kind of great thing that, of course, it's naturally. Sleep shortens naturally. They just cannot sleep longer. We may get a nap during the day, five, ten minutes, no more. And we are totally fine with this duration of sleep. Uh, Dr. Boutet himself had <laughs> very large breath holding time, like his uh, body oxygen test result was different, of course, at different times of his life, but up to two, two and a half, nearly three minutes, which is very, very long time because we, we do the test after exhale, so we first exhale and then we hold breath until first discomfort. It's a very tough test because you cannot push yourself, so we are interested in the stress-free breath all the time. But what he uh, experienced on himself, that his sleep was shortened down to two hours. Two hours, in, uh, <laughs> super short time, of course, for sleep, but when people have a lot of oxygen, the body muscles relax, the mind relax, so we are able to sleep less and recover much faster, and that, of course, also huge advantage in terms of survival. And what I found, another observe, interesting kind of fact, which for me was 
you will be surprised that uh, I, I found yoga books where we wrote that uh, yoga books written 60, 70, 80 years ago because at this time we had better understanding how to practice yoga, how to practice pranayama and we have had good understanding that yoga actually is a, a breathing retraining technique especially Hatha Yoga, like the traditional yoga of Pranayama, fire breath by seat and other breathing exercises where you need to extend like Pranayama stages even longer and longer. That allows to, that it's possible when people slow down the automatic or unconscious breathing pattern. And in these yoga books we wrote that yoga masters commonly or normally would have only two hours of sleep. So for me it was kind of a surprise to find out that like Soviet doctors were practicing the type of breathing technique of Breathing retraining, breathing normalization, realize that like, when people have highest results for the body oxygen test, like super good health, they require only two hours of sleep. And yoga books suggest totally the same number. Yeah, so that's uh, about the question for, for, for today. Do um, you have any kind of uh, final comments that you wanted to add? The whole book on Amazon, which is called How to Sleep Less and Better Naturally. And this book uh, provides a lot of details, information, practical techniques, because there are many, many factors, probably about 15, 20 different factors, which people can address in order to improve their quality of sleep. Even though they may not be like, some of them may, a few people may guess that they actually relate directly. But there are also a lot of other te relate direct techniques, like how to organize thermal regulation during sleep, how to ground yourself, like to use earthen during sleep because electrical connection with breath allows to discharge electrons, reduce inflammation and have other positive effects, especially on nerve and muscle cells. And uh, air quality, so sometimes supplements can help a lot with sleep in those people who are deficient in certain nutrients. So there are many factors and uh, that, that can be discussed. You can find also certain pages on the website, normalbriefing.com, also in the sleep book that we have on Amazon. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I also saw lots of great tips on normalbreathing.com about uh, sleep hygiene, uh, the lifestyle factors, and um, there's a lot of things that you can do right now that will help your health just by uh, going on the website. Thank you, and until next time.